Hello everyone, it's a whole new week and I have new tarot cards for you. Morgan drew them for us. Oh, before we get started, uh, tomorrow the No More Resolutions 4-Day Manifesting Challenge starts. It's our last one for 2023. It will really get you thinking about 2024. What do you want, right? And it needs to be something bigger and much more inspiring than, oh, I want to lose 20 pounds, right? That's why resolutions don't work, but we'll talk about that more this week. So it's not too late to sign up and the link is down below in the um, about, about the video. Also down below is the link to sign up for your year ahead reading for 2024 to see what's coming and you also get a mantra for the year. These readings are so powerful. I did a couple more today and gosh, so inspiring. So don't miss out. I only do them until January 31st, so time is limited. So be sure you check that out. The link is down below. You can get on my schedule. And without any further delay, let's see what is cooking. All right, first up, oh, by the way, I used my Nightmare Before Christmas deck because it's Christmas time. And also had her draw one from the Oracle of the Unif Unicorns because this is the time of hope and magic, right? All right, so let's see what we got. Up first, three of presents. You guys, this came up a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I think two weeks ago. Anyway, the the presence in this deck is pentacles. So this is the element of earth. It represents your earthly goods, your earthly body. These are health and money. And the three always has three friends because this is about networking. If you work together with your friends, you can get this job done. Another thing it could be is if you're looking for something new for 2024, talk to your friends, right? Somebody knows something somebody who can get you hooked up with your next job, your next opportunity, your next volunteering <laughs> position, that kind of thing. So check in with your friends this week, all right? And next up, Oh, the king of potions. So in this deck, potions is the element of water, like cups. And this is our emotions. They're always moving and changing like water. But the king is your masculine energy. Everyone has both. So this is authority, justice, um, making money, all that kind of thing. But when it comes to potions, to cups, you see how tightly he's holding that bottle, right? Sometimes the King of Cups is a little bit controlling about his heart. And I say his, but this could go for anyone who is watching this video. So be sure that you aren't clutching your heart too tightly so that you're not allowing love to come in. It's a normal defensive mechanism. You can't get hurt if nobody ever gets in, but that's really lonely. And this is the time of year when people maybe are feeling that and want to make a change. So this card is telling you to lead with your heart. Lead with your heart this week, right? Tell your head to be quiet and lead with your heart. All right. And finally, oh, the eight of potions. Again, this is the element of water, so lots of emotions. And the eight is a new journey of love. So you can see that all of these potions here are in the cemetery they're ready to go. So <laughs> this is your opportunity to decide what do I want in 2024? I know I said that earlier, but man, the eight is all about that brand new journey and it should be something that you love. So again, when you are planning out your year, don't just give yourself tasks do something that it really affects your heart, that makes you excited. If you are passionate about something, you will do it. You will not be denied, all right? So great card for this end of the year time. Okay, and finally from the uh, Oracle of the Unicorns, we got, oh, it's balance. This is a very hard time of year to be balanced, so make this your challenge this week, right? Eat enough, sleep enough, drink enough, move enough, all that kind of thing, because you see all of these butterflies here? 
Butterflies in Tarot and Oracle always represent transformation. So this week in this busy time of year, if you can find your balance, you will have clarity, your emotions will be calm and peaceful, and you will just sail through, you'll fly. <laughs> you'll fly right through this time of year without any stress or fights or any of that kind of stuff, right? Just try really hard this week to remember this card and you should be striving for balance, all right? So it's gonna be a great week to wrap up. We have the Three of Presents or Pentacles. This is a time you get by with a little help from your friends. If you are looking for a gift or a job or whatever, a new doctor, a new exercise plan, maybe a new diet for 2024, check in with your friends. This is a big networking card. Let people know what you are working on and how they might help. And the king of potions or cups this is the element of water and this is your masculine side so be sure that you are leading with love this week all right follow your heart even if that's not your first instinct for this week lead with your heart all right and finally the eight of potions or cups so this is the element of water and this is a new journey of love so when you are planning out your year for 2024 make sure it's something that your heart is fully engaged in right all that passion you will not be denied all right and finally this week strive for balance balance is going to make all the difference this week so definitely keep it at the forefront of your mind eat enough sleep enough drink enough move enough and you will have clarity and sail right through you're gonna fly right through this week through the holidays all right hope you guys have a great week i know that you will remember lead with your heart um <laughs> also down below if you are so inclined my coffee link is down there and it keeps me in my starbucks tea and totally makes my day so if you want to leave me a christmas tip you can that link is down below also down below, don't forget the year ahead tarot readings. You get 12 cards, one for each month of 2024 and a mantra for the year. Do not miss out. They sell out every year and January 31st will be the last day. So that link is down there. Also, if you would like to join the four day no more resolutions manifesting challenge, that link is down below. And Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. Um, you always make my day. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments, and I will do my best to get you answers. See you later. Bye.